In the beginning, we needed special glasses to view 3D images. Now, a German scientist is creating 3D images we can see with the naked eye. Using special software, Klaus Schenke has created two views of this Egyptian pharaoh. One image is what the left eye would see. The other, a slightly different view the right eye sees. Hundreds of thin vertical lines etched on a piece of glass act as lenses to fuse them. Using this trick, we are able to not wear 3D glasses, but still have a very high quality 3D image. Shanga hopes to make something else obsolete. The computer mouse. In the future, an infrared sensor tracking your finger movements will let you manipulate a computer image that appears 3D. But what will it take to project an image into thin air, like Paul Shark? Researchers at the University of California have invented the first step. Fog screen. A screen of water droplets so tiny you can't even feel them. Two jets of air shape the droplets into a thin sheet of vapor. On it, they project an image. Hey, Esmo, can you see me? Uh, could you move a little to the left? To my left? Inventors Tobias Hollerer and Ismo Rakalena aim to bring true 3D images to life. When you look a little like a ghost, I can see it through you. The dream of the computer graphics research community has been for a long time to reach a point where environments can be reproduced so realistically that you think it is reality. The researchers are creating images humans can interact with. The key is a special infrared tracking device the user wears on his head. Okay, we can go ahead and start now. A computer controls an image projected on the fog screen. The computer is also linked to the tracking device. When you move, the computer signals the image to move in response. And the shark seems to follow every move you make. In the future, we will be surrounded by 3D images as real as life. Some scientists believe high-speed laser pulses will let us project 3D images into thin air and even make them appear to move through space. Like Paul's shark. <laughs>